Well, that came out amazing. We have the front separated from the main frame. Wound up worked out pretty good. I just put some blocks under it. And once I got the blocks I actually touched the angle iron and then to just give the extra height to be able to separate it, I put a two by four on both sides. Wasn't too bad, I did it all by myself, which I didn't realize how awesome it was to be able to have that detachable. That is a huge upgrade that I just did not understand or appreciate. So now we have this side of it really mobile and really accessible. Now I don't need to feel like I need an engine stand, although it can't rotate, but I can do a lot. So this is the tool that we use to turn these over because inline sixes generally aren't drilled for a crank bolt. So we have a kit that my cousin has brought over that is, has pilots and guides and all that stuff to do that. So we'll do that a little later. But I want to take this cover off. You can see there's a bolt missing. Actually two, I didn't even see this one. And I want to inspect under here and make sure we got nothing going on that uh, we need to adjust. Oh, look at that. That's probably going to be an issue. See, that's another. So here's the close up of the engine with the timing cover off. Like I said, there's a lot of trash in here where this engine cover was off. Oh, it looks like the gasket's on there. Okay. The gasket's there. Looks like there's a little break maybe there. Maybe I need to put an RTV. And it seals on the bottom. Okay. Feel a little better about that. We just was missing several bolts. And I think this was shoved back. Just gunk. Looks like that's more RTV that was there. Okay. But yeah, you see there's a brand new screw there. So we know this engine has been gone through. I need to double check. I think... The so the timing marks are opposing each other. I know certain engines are like that. I'll double check that. I know on the LS's they need to touch. So we have taken off the timing cover. We have tapped out the crank for a bolt. I wish I could have recorded it, but guys, I'm just out of time, and there's just these detailed videos. It just slows me down. This isn't my personal project, so. I would love to show some of that stuff, just the timing ain't right now due to how labor intensive this is. So when I had the timing cover off, our timing marks was not the way they should be from what I remember or looked up. So right now our cam is at the 12 o'clock, if this was vertical, right? And then our crank is at 12 o'clock. Everything I looked up says they should be touching, but... I mean, I could be 180 degrees out. So what I have done was instead of trying to knock out all this wiring, it's going to slow me down by a few hours. I have jumpered our uh, battery wire to our start wire. So now when I hit one of these switches, it should spin over. And I removed our spark plugs because I want to feel when we have compression coming out of number one. Because right now we're lined up on top bed center when I did it, when I set it. You can see our timing marks. It's kind of hard to see. Is um is there. So it's almost right there on zero. Uh, so we got some in there. We got our distributor in, we got our wires hooked up. We still got to run a hot to it. You can see where it says battery right there. So we got to run us an ignition wire to it, which we also need to run something to our battery or fuel pump, which we might not have to, it might take it on its own. That'd be awesome. If I only got to hook up one wire, that's what I'll probably do. We got these uh, pigtails here. We can just run a wire from here to here and then just turn the switch on and that'll work. And hopefully we don't have to use that fuel pump Hopefully it ain't a restriction either. We want to see if we got spark. We got compression. We got smoke. And no spark. Okay. Oh, let's turn this on. 
Oh, we got spark. Oh my gosh. It just fired off. Okay, so we got the engine all out here. I've been cleaned up. We see where we've got a lot of transmission fluid. I've been having a hard time getting this engine running. I've been playing around with, we got a little fuel leak, but we'll just watch that. We're gonna have to seal that up. But and a plus, I hit the radiator, putting the front back on, so I got a little dribble there, but that's fine. So it's been running, and I got it to run for a little while, and as soon as I got it, gave it any throttle, it died. So I just double checked my timing or my firing order, and I had it totally wrong. I had like three wires in the wrong spot, so I don't know what I what firing order I found initially, but I was wrong. So, saying that, I pulled the camera out because I got a feeling it's about to run. But I had it barely running, it was running like crap. But our timing could be off. I've been playing around air fuel mixture and throttle. So this is fuel. No, this is ignition. This is fuel. This is your gauge. We got our fan on low and this is start. around with it because I done Ooh, a lot of back bar. all right I might have messed up my timing and everything because I have been really jacking with it and it could be really flooded well good morning to everybody it's another weekend it's another day wrenching let me update y'all on a few things so we're still having an issue with getting this inline six running we have installed this distributor after a lot of kind of playing around with this i am clocking it with the vacuum events this way because i want to have plenty of throw uh from the factory they kind of point them this way but then we got our fuel line here and you kind of run it this way but i'm finding i need to go more towards the plug so this is intentional we're clocking it this way i have purchased some spark plug wires and spark plugs so we're going to put those on and then we're going to start troubleshooting and we might be pulling this back off this whole front end to be checking we'll have to pull our timing cover off and we're going to probably check our uh, our timing we might be a tooth off i don't know we bought it this way this is that trust but verify so i just want to give y'all update i'm going to show y'all how it's currently running so we go over here we're going to turn our ignition switch on i'm going to turn our fan on i kind of like the idea of the fan in this case there is any fumes down here might help with uh evacuate that before we hit the starter we got a starter on the way. It's supposed to be in today, so that's kind of annoying. You can see it ain't hitting on much of nothing. See that? It's kind of backfiring up the intake. So anyways, we got a lot of stuff going on. Just want to show you something's wrong and that's going to be a part of troubleshooting i did poke a hole in our radiator you can see it's kind of leaking right there it's a slew hole we probably need to top off uh some with some water just in case we get it running that way we don't have to worry about that i gotta use two hands all right so that's the update i'm gonna put plugs put wires top off the water and maybe keep babysitting this starter i don't know i got it really hot so i know it's my fault but i already had one ordered and i really wasn't worried about it 